You looking for some good music? You found it. This is Foxy and Friends on Foxy 94.3. Welcome back into Foxy and Friends. It's finally Friday. Yeah, Acoustic Friday. It's our we made favorite it. day on the show. Yes, it is. And we have Miss Ariana Daughter with us. And she's one of these artists that's just now kind of starting out. She said that, you know, she didn't feel like she had enough songs to start performing. But, Seth, you gave her some advice on that. Yeah, just try to play shows with others. Yeah. That's that's the best way to do it. Yeah. And we recently saw your music video. So tell us a little bit about that. About the uh, blue side on, out of the mountain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a song by the Steel Drivers, Chris Stapleton. I was in that band. Uh, uh, they're a big, big group, and I love them. I love them so much. And mm-hmm. so I figured that song. A lot of people from where I'm from, they they really like that song. So I figured I would uh, make a video on it and uh, post it. And it seems like a lot of people like it. So, so were yeah, you nervous really when you started shooting that video, or was that not not so bad? I wasn't really nervous when I shot the video because it wasn't live. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no, I'm not really nervous when whenever I videotape or. Mm-hmm. You know, when we're on the radio, I, I don't usually get nervous. But as soon as we go to Hillbilly Days to shoot something live, oh yeah, my hands start shaking, my legs start shaking. I'm like, ah, yeah, Hillbilly Days, and it's just sure, like, like, like a yeah. terrible, nervous <laughs> voice. But I mean, I don't know how you all get out and perform in front of people because I, I would just probably cry and then not hear it. <laughs> now I will say I do get really nervous. Um, usually after my first song, I'm mm-hmm. I'm okay. So, yeah, once the uh, the cob, yeah, once the cobwebs the are out. cleared, yeah. <laughs> I'm usually good after that. Uh. So you are someone that's kind of just starting out. So do you have advice for other people that's kind of just now deciding, okay, I've been doing this for a long time and I want to make something of it? I don't know if I have any advice for anyone yet because of where I'm still starting out. So I'm still seeking for advice myself. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why I usually get a hold of like local artists and, and see what they're up to, what they're doing, you know, what they're doing to get ready to sing and perform at all these local venues that we have. And, uh-huh. and that's what I really look forward to is um, playing at local venues first and then get my feet wet and then go maybe other states, maybe other, mm-hmm. you know, places like that. Well, it's really the season go. for local music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's coming up on us. Yeah. Spring and summer is when mm-hmm. everybody really kicks off their music season because we've got so many great outdoor venues that mm-hmm. people yeah. like to play at. So tell us what song you want to sing first for us. Well, this first song that I'm going to sing is called Cold, and I wrote this song back in 2012. Mm-hmm. Well, kind of 2012, almost 2013, uh, my freshman year of college. Mm-hmm. And uh, this song um, is my first song, so... Uh, I'm really proud of it. Um, everybody has a first love. Mm-hmm. And it's not really based on my first love. It's just the time, the area of uh, how it came to be. And mm-hmm. and um, I went to school. Uh, I'm an artist and photographer. And so um, whenever I wrote this song, I felt like it was a good way to express how I was feeling at the time. And so I wrote this song based on how I was feeling at that time in my life. Right. So this, Can't wait is, to hear it. this is called Cold. <clears throat> when I wake up in the morning to hear that rooster crow, I'll slide to the edge of the bed because I'll be so damn cold. Not the cold that's in the weather or the cold set on the AC, but the cold that's in my heart from the moment. Sure off for me. Oh, you know me, 
don't you dare try and think twice when i wake up in the morning to hear that rooster crow i'll slide to the edge of the bed because i be so damn cold yes Okay, so you said you wrote that in 2012, 2013. So you've been writing songs for a long time. So when did you start maybe performing these songs or letting everyone else hear them? Oh, man. Um, when I first began writing music, uh, I really wasn't too keen on showing people. Mm -hmm. Because, it, I mean, I'm still kind of, I still kind of get nervous uh, singing in front of people, and especially my family. Because you know, uh -huh. they mean... They mean the most to me, and they their opinion matters most to me. Yeah, obviously, and and um, so when I first sang this song, it was for my roommate actually mm -hmm. in college, and she said, you know, Ariana, you need to you need to get out there and sing these songs. And I was like, I know, I, I know, I got songs, but I'm just so scared to like show people. And then once I finally sang that for my um, my roommate, I started. That was just the start of it because she gave me that confidence and mm -hmm. that boost that I needed. Because if it wasn't for her, I mean, I don't know if she's listening right now, but if it wasn't for her, she, I don't know if I would have ever went through with it. Um, mm -hmm. But after that first song, I started uh, getting a little bit of confidence in, in my writing. Mm -hmm. um, and I started writing more music. And most of it I didn't finish, but the ones that I did finish, I'm really proud of. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's basically how it all started. And you said that you're someone that likes to perform your own songs. I know Seth is like that, too. I mean, yeah. I know that either of you can do several cover songs, but you prefer to do your own. Yes, I do prefer to do my own songs just because the simple fact that I feel very comfortable, especially because if I mess it up, ain't nobody going to know, right, <laughs> except for myself. But um, cover songs, yeah, usually when I do covers, um, they usually don't sound the same, which is fine by me because... You put your little twist on it, and it's going to sound unique and different in its own way, um, like it's a whole new song again. Mm -hmm. So that's the cool thing about covers is you can always, you know, make them sound your own, even though they're not. Mm -hmm. We had someone up here recently that said that they do a lot. They did a lot of cover songs, and then afterwards, someone was like, "You know, you should do cover songs." And he was like, "Everything I did tonight was a cover <laughs> song." But, that was Corey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was going to say because you know when you sing it your own way, people don't always recognize it because you've kind of made it your own mm -hmm. so that's cool but i always like hearing original music yeah that's yeah, why i mean i go better. to hear people you know sing is because i want to hear what they're what's in doing. their head yeah yeah, yeah. so guess. what's the second song you want to sing well the second song is a song that i wrote for my parents um my family and my immediate family really knows exactly what i mean in this song if i don't get emotional <laughs> um <laughs> But this is a song fairly new. I wrote this maybe last year uh, during the summer, I think. Um, yeah, and this one's called Lovely War. We were young when you got old. How could you stand to live with us all? The heartache of a man figures out a plan. A woman of pure gold gives up her left hand. This family of eight had enough on our plates. Getting through the hard times, we never was ashamed. The cussing and fighting and bruising up a storm. In that cabin, I never felt so warm. And screaming and scratching, and slamming all the doors. Holding us tight, you always promised more. So up that holler was the start of a lovely war. He gave her a lie, but she was born from the sun. Still, most of all, they know not the power that they've caused. The price you pay We learn to make a living for Each and every day We're Cussing and fighting and Bruising up a storm In that cabin I never felt so warm Screaming and scratching 
was the start of a lovely war. That's the one you warmed up with, and that was great. I love that song. So how long does it take you usually to write a song like that? Um, Usually a song, um, the songs that I do sing for people, usually those are the songs that don't take no time. Mm -hmm. Five, ten minutes, thirty, up to two hours. Um, those usually are the songs that I stick with. Mm-hmm. The songs that usually take over a day, I usually just dispose of them because I'm thinking too hard on it or it's not genuine. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and yeah, those, those are usually the ones I stick with. Because you said that you have started on some songs that you've never finished. Yes, yes. And those are the ones you just kind of Those are the ones I just kind of let go just because um, I can always start back and refresh my mind and come back to it if I have to. Yeah. So you said that you went to MSU Arts. Yes, yes. So what do you do besides play music? I um I am a photogra- photographer uh-huh. and um, photography is actually a big part of my life. Even though I don't get a lot of time for it anymore like mm-hmm. I used to, but it's still a pretty big part in who I want to be eventually. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to bring photography uh, into my life mm-hmm. later on, and um. I paint and draw and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, I got my Bachelor of Art at Moorhead State. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm working at Mayo Mansion Mm -hmm. in Paintsville. And uh, just like Seth was saying that video, I took up in in the the upstairs, the third floor. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Oh, man, they have the best acoustics in that place. It sounds so good. Yeah, it's a a a great place to practice, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Because it gives a different sound and just like us sitting here versus somewhere like that. So that was really cool. And again, the video you made Mm -hmm. was great. So who who came up with the concept on that or the idea or what made you want to do that? Well, you know, it's just some normal night. I just um, got the urge to go up there and sing just because, you know, usually when I'm at work, when nobody's in the building, I'll sing or I'll get real loud and Mm -hmm. not care about it, you know. (laughs) And so one day I went up there and I was cleaning upstairs and and I was like, man, this room sounds so beautiful. And I got to thinking, you know, they, you know, they used to have like mass up there and they used to sing, especially mm-hmm. when Mr. Mayo used to used to own it. He used to have like parties and all kinds of right. stuff up there. Yeah, <laughs> I read about it. I actually, it did some history on that that building uh, before I started working there. It was really interesting to learn about. But yeah, uh, that spot is that's that's Painesville. Yes, yeah, that's that's yes. an iconic it really, landmark. It really you know? is a big landmark. And then. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, just one afternoon, I, I just got the urge to go up there and, and sing that song. It was a new song that I learned. Uh, I haven't learned that in a in a long time, but um, but yeah, I just went up there and I sang it and posted mm-hmm. it. I mean, I didn't I didn't feel like it was the best I could do, but everybody seemed to like it, so mm-hmm. it was yeah, great. It sounded great. Mm-hmm. Do you have one more song you'll do for us? Uh, yes, um, I had this <laughs> last song. This is the newest song that I've wrote, and this is. A song that I wrote about, just about, just about me, mm-hmm. and um, it all started one day as I was walking up the holler, and I just got this thought in my head, and I was like, "Man, this song sounds real good." So I ran back up the holler and I wrote it. I wrote it down real quick, <laughs> and this one is called "No Filter." I started walking from the. M- Sorry. I started walking from the mouth of the holler Lighting half the wrong end of a cigarette Didn't throw it out Cause it was the last one Yeah, the last one in the pack I kept it in the pocket of the red checkered
Sometimes you gotta let it out and cut the filter off the end. Well, I got no filter when it comes to standing my ground. You see this pretty face in you. damn good plan these demons they'll try to rock me before my life ever really begins I got no filter when it comes to standing my ground you see this pretty face in you try to wonder how she'll ever get out of this and Lord she's got it coming now well I got no filter and it's how I get around if you watch the sun in that eastern sky crawl down into those eastern pines it won't be that hard to find with a red checker shirt heavy burden on That was great. <laughs> that was Thank good. You. Well, we hope you'll come back and be on the show with us again. And when you do decide to start, you know, getting out in public and singing for everybody, <laughs> you're going to post that on your Facebook page, right? Yes, yes. All right. We look forward to having you back. Thank you so much. This is a great opportunity. There's more Foxy and Friends coming up.